Hello, everybody. What a week for the Big West, especially for Abubakar Trari of Long Beach State, who's your Big West Player of the Week. The two-time All-Big West player averaged 22 points, 9.5 boards, and wins last week. At Cal Poly, they had no answer for him as he shot 14 to 17 from the field and dropped a career-high 30 points. Then, followed that up with a double-double in limited action versus UC Riverside. He is no doubt a major reason why Beach is a serious contender for the Big West crown come March. Now, coming into the week, we've already begun to see a little separation developing in the conference standings. Five teams began the week with winning records in Big West play. UC Irvine started the week 4-0 in Big West play and is the most balanced team in the conference with four players averaging double figures in the opening games. In addition, point guard Pierre Crockwell leads the Big West in assists at 7.5 per game. CSUN continues to be one of the best national stories in all of college basketball. What a turnaround from last year's seven-win season. Coming into this week, they were riding a seven-game win streak, sitting at 12-3 overall and undefeated in Big West play at 3-0 while leading the conference in scoring. This team reminds me of 2007-08 when the Matadors started 13-4 and won 20 games overall. Hmm... UC San Diego keeps surprising as well. Best start in D1 era, undefeated in Big West play coming into this week, and two road victories over both last year's Big West champion and runner-up. They're led by senior Bryce Pope, who's averaging 24 points per game and have received an extra 16 points per game from two-time transfer Tyler McGuy, who was just deemed eligible before Christmas. Long Beach State entered the week with just one loss in Big West play. Marcus Sahonis averages 17 points per game. Abubakar Triore is our Big West Player of the Week, and Lasina Triore averaged 19 and 17 in their wins last week. Beach is off to its best start since the 2012 season when they won the Big West title in advance to the Big Dance. And UC Davis entered the week with just a single loss in Big West play, an overtime game at UC Irvine. Elijah Pepper is a top 10 scorer in the nation, averaging an incredible 27 points per game on over 50% shooting in conference games. He's closing in on 2,000 career points. Hey, that's all the time I have. I'll see you next week. Shooter for two.